Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In previous sessions, we discussed about complete DBMS topics with practical demonstrations. I have mentioned complete database management system playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss about the most important top 15 DBMS questions with answers. These questions will be helpful for your interview purpose as well as your university exam or viva purpose. So let's start the session. In this channel, you will get a complete point-wise easy explanation, practical demo and question bank of following subjects. Please like and share these videos with your friends and subscribe the channel. So you will get a notification regarding my new coming videos. Now, the first and most important question is what exactly DBMS? DBMS stands for Database Management System. It is a kind of software to design different manipulations and operations on the database. It can perform insert, update, delete, select this kind of operations on the database and retrieve data from database. It apply appropriate security measures on the database. In Viva, they will also ask different types of database. So there are total four types of database, relational database, hierarchical database, flat file database and object database. In real life, there are different types of database have present like MySQL, PostgreSQL, Microsoft Access, SQL Server, FileMaker, Oracle, RDBMS and DBase. So this is just a simple information about DBMS. Now the next question is what exactly difference between DBMS and RDBMS? So DBMS mainly store all the data in the format of file or file system. But in RDBMS R, R stands for relational. So here all the information have stored in tabular format in tables format. In DBMS, we use different navigation system for accessing the information. But in RDBMS, we use primary key for accessing a records in particular table. Normalization is not present in DBMS, but it is present in RDBMS. And DBMS does not support distributed database and RDBMS support distributed database. These are the main difference between DBMS and RDBMS. Now, the next question is what are the table and fields? Generally, these questions will be asked for fresher student. So mainly table. Table means collections of rows and columns. Here, columns. Columns means collections of fields and rows. We will store different records in the format of rows. Now here agent code. Agent code is had the unique values. So it is called as key field. So this is a basic termination about a particular table structure. Next. The next question is most important that is what exactly primary key and foreign key. Primary key. Primary key means which contain the value that unique value or uniquely identify each row in the table. Let's take example. Suppose there is a student table. So student ID. Student ID having the unique value. This is called as primary key. The next one is a foreign key. Suppose you want to access the information of another table. So at that time you can use primary key of another table in your own table. This is called as foreign key. See here in the department table, your department name and student ID means it access the primary key of the student table. So it is called as foreign key. We use foreign key for maintaining the relationship between the different tables on the same database. Next. The next most important question is difference between delete, drop and truncate command. We will use this command using SQL query language. The first one is a delete command. Delete command generally used to delete all the complete records from the table, right? The next one is a truncate. Truncate command delete all the data from the table but kept structure as it is. Delete command always used with the where clause. Now drop. Drop command delete all the data plus structure of the table. So this is a main difference between delete, drop and truncate. The next question is what exactly join and types of join. Generally join used in DBMS for combining rows and two or more tables in the database. There are total four types of join. Inner join, right join, left join and full join. We apply inner join on the table when they return matching rows between the two tables which is called as inner join. 
when we apply right join on the table it return all the rows from the right side table but matching rows from the left table next one is a left join left join return all the rows from the left table and matching rows from the right table and last one is a full join full join return all the records from the table we already discussed join types of join with practical demonstration in previous videos next now the next important question is what exactly normalization and types of normalization so normalization means it is a kind of process who minimize redundancy duplicate value and dependency in your table in database that's why we use normalization next one is the types of normalization basically there are total six types of normalization that is first normal form second normal form third normal form bcnf fourth normal form and fifth normal form so while giving interview and viva question you must know the basic concept of is normal form the first normal form remove duplicate columns in table and stored atomic values only this is a concept now in second normal form it follow all the rules of first normal form and they remove partial dependency from the table and place subsets of data in separate table next one is a third normal form third normal form follow all the rules of second normal form and they remove transitive dependency in the table next one is a bcnf bcnf follow all the rules of third normal form and it make sure that every determinant is a candidate key fourth normal form here all the rules follow from the bcnf and it remove multi value dependency from the table and fifth normal form concept is it follow all the rules of fourth normal form and remove joint dependency so you must know all this normal form with examples we already discussed this all the normalization and normal forms in our previous sessions next next question is what exactly view so view in sql in dbms considered as a virtual table see here there is a physical view physical view means view of the dbms or database logical level your logical view means exact structure of the table and view level there is only one table but there are different authorized users having the different view of the same table that's why it is called as virtual table and this view provide different additional level table security and restrictions on the particular table next the next question is what is index and types of index generally in dbms index can be used to allow faster retrieval of record from the table every record having a particular search key and particular data reference data reference means actual original address where a particular data have stored so index can be use a search key value to accessing a particular record there are total four types of index primary index secondary index cluster index and multi level index next the next question is what is query and sub query so query means generally it is a particular code written in language like sql oracle and they fetch the record from the database which is called as query the next concept is sub query sub query means query within another query see here there is a this is called as outer query outer query is called as main query and in this where clause they use another query this is called as sub query or inner query so sub query or inner query will be executed first after that outer query will be executed next the next important question is what exactly constraints so constraints means limitations or restrictions on the type of data that will be stored in table there are total six types of constraints like not null unique constraints default constraints check constraints primary key and foreign key constraints here not null constraint generally use that is on primary key primary key value never be null unique constraints means there is a roll number roll number contain a unique value that is called as unique constraints then default constraint default constraints means like company name or city that was the same for every employee that is called as default constraints then check constraints check constraint generally apply on the particular column like age so age and you have to mention the condition like age greater than equal to 18 only that information have stored into the table this is called as check constraints 
and primary key and foreign key constraints that we already discussed previously. So this is called as constraints. Constraints ensure accuracy and reliability on the data into the table. The next one is a what exactly clauses. So in DBMS in SQL clauses are inbuilt. Generally these clauses are used to filter and analyze data quickly and data easily stored in database. This kind of clauses have available in DBMS like distinct clause to retrieve unique record from the database, from clause to list out the tables and join information, where clause to filter the result by using where condition, order by clause means to sort the records as per the order, then group by clause, the group by one or more columns and having clause. Having clause restrict the group of written by the rows. The next important question is what exactly data integrity. So integrity, this term exactly means to overall accuracy, completeness and reliability of data. Means you should store accurate information into the table. You should store consistent, valid and complete information in your table. This is called as data integrity. For that purpose, they use different integrity constraints to maintain the accuracy and integrity of the database. The next question is what exactly DDL, DML and DCL commands. So in SQL there are total these five types of commands. DDL commands data definition language which apply on the structure of the table like create, alter, truncate and drop structure of the table. DML command that is data manipulation language which apply on the operations or manipulations performed on data like insert, update and delete. DCL that is data control language, they control the database by using grant and revoke command. Then TCL that is transaction control language. They generally commands apply on the transactions of the DBMS using acid properties like save point, rollback and commit. And now data query language. So select command, select command is included into this language. So by using this command, we will perform operations on the database. The last question is what exactly stored procedure and trigger. So stored procedure means it is a group of some SQL statements and you need to apply this group of SQL statements and use those SQL statements again and again in your code. So this is called a stored procedure. See here, suppose you want to apply select, insert, update, delete. This four statement again and again in your database. So this is called a stored procedure and trigger. Trigger is a one kind of store procedure which is not created by the user, which is created by the programmer when particular specific event have occurred. There are total three types of trigger, insert trigger, update trigger and delete trigger. Next. So hope so. These all questions will be helpful as a fresher student for your interview and viva purpose. All the best. Thank you.